Greetings and welcome to Discovery Freelancer Server Tutorial. The name's Spazzy, and let me tell you this. During my time on Disco, especially after when I started hosting server events, there were a lot of people who would PM me on the forums and Skype, curious about how to make their own server, to test ships, or to simply have a little sandbox playground to have, you know, from their friends. And since I'm very well reminded that no one has bothered to answer those questions considering how complex they are in detail, I'm making this little slideshow tutorial in hope that I will not get any more PMs related to this topic. Seriously, stop asking. Also, this video uses a lot of screenshots as reference, so if you miss something, simply pause the video. If you need a better look at what is written there, it is that easy. No need to ask. First of all, we need to prepare your PC for a freelancer server. And in order to make a server much like the official one, you will need quite a few goodies to make it work. But first things are first. If you are behind a router, in order to have other players connect to your server, you will actually need to forward your ports. And the port number is 3202 and ranging to 2304 UDP. Simply access your router settings forward these ports to the IP address your PC is using. And once you have that down, you must find your IP address. And I mind you, I am referring to the outgoing IP, not the one your, uh, the, you know, the one your router has, not the one your PC has. Sites like whatismyip.com can help you with this, and whenever someone wants to join your server, he simply needs to add that IP address to his freelancer shortcut like this. If you don't want to mess with this, alternately you can use virtual LAN software like Hamachi, Game Ranger, or VLAN to simply directly connect your server with the clients. And so, once we have this mess out of the way, we can start setting up your server. In all, there's not really much to explain how to launch and operate a simple server, but I know the one thing you are looking for is the kind of server where you can teleport your ship across bases, modify reputation and weapons within the game without having to resort to Iron Cross Character Editor, where you basically need to shut down Freelancer, edit the file, go back in. Like all Freelancer server utilities, FL Hook can be downloaded from the starport.com. Apart from that, you will also need a program called DSA Account Manager which replaces the freelancer server operator and this tool will help you manage your player database more efficiently. Uh, last but not least, you will need a player control tool. This software manages uh, additional server features such, such as custom banners, ID reputation fixes, the restart commands, disconnection settings, pimp ship loadouts, rename and gift cache commands, as well there are a lot of, you know, related little settings. And, in all honesty, this is one of the most nifty little tools Canon has made during his, you know, slavery on Disco. Um, all the previously mentioned software can be obtained by following the links below, given the video description, by the way. Uh, but first things are first, we need to install a full hook on your server. Uh, this plugin operator will give you the basics you are looking for your server. It will allow you to assign admins, which have the ability to add cache, move players, change reputation, and so on. Uh, once you have downloaded a full hook, you, s you must install it in the Freelancer Exa folder, which by default can be located in the Program Files section under Microsoft Games, right inside the Freelancer folder. Uh, but this is not all. There is also two dynamic link library files which you will need to copy, uh, copy to your Windows 32 folder. And mind you, if you're running Vista or Windows 7, you will need administration rights for this. Uh, after you're done, you must return to the EXA folder and access the file called dacomserve.ini and add the flhook DLL to the list. By doing so, flhook should automatically start whenever you launch the server using the server EXA file. Now that we have that done, we must tweak the flhook to meet your requirements. The configuration can be done by simply editing a flhook.ini file found in the EXA folder. 
Uh, well, we, I will only tell you about the things you need to worry about now. All the other settings are pretty much self-explanatory. They have a description right next to them. And the line which we should be referring to right now is the one about NPC spawns right there. By entering a zero, all the NPCs will spawn normally no matter what the server load is. By setting it to one, if you will join the server, the NPCs will be disabled. Well, most of the time, anyway. Uh, the other setting you must tweak is the new no PvP zone, which shows uh, in which system players cannot damage each other. In this case, we are shown L101, and it is New York. You can simply time in false to disable this function altogether, uh, and uh, I will explain how the in-game names work later on. After you have all these settings done, then, wow, what do you know, it's time to actually launch the server and play. Nothing really more to do. Uh, use the exit to launch the server, configure the name and a few other settings it asks you, and away you go. Uh, you should notice that the FL Hook console windows pops up along with the server. And now then, time to explain the commands you will be using. Uh, once you are in game, create a character and dock. Uh, Alt tab back to your desktop and access the FL Hook console and enter the following command. Set admin, uh, character name super add-in. In my case, it's going to be set admin spazzy super admin, and then simply hit enter. Now, this character, as well as the, all of the other characters on that account, will be given administration rights. Uh, let's take a look at the most common ones we'll be using. You can enter these commands directly in the FL Hook console or in game on an admin character by adding a dot before the command line. Uh, add cache allows you to add an X amount of cache to any character. Set cache is similar, but instead of adding the entered amount of credits, it will simply change the uh, player's font to that number. And set rep allows you to set the reputation for characters. For example, um, I want to try out a outcast capital ship, but I actually need a reputation to buy weapons. I will type in the following command dot set trap spazzy fc underscore ou underscore grp9. The fc shows the faction section we are using, the ou is a shortening for outcasts, and the grp is the type of faction reputation. Uh, the grp refers to the standard outcast reputation, but we actually need the guard reputation. Uh, getting this is simple, uh, we simply need to replace the grp line with guardian. So I'm gonna enter dot setrep spazzy fc yo o u guardian nine, and now we should have the right reputation. Uh, the beam command allows you to throw yourself around bases. If you wish to be, uh, you know, if you wish to beam yourself to vanilla bases from an original freelancer, the command is simple: simply dot beam spazzy malta or um, dot beam spazzy manhattan. Uh, however, let us say you want to beam your ourselves to a station added in Discovery Mod. Uh, let's say the Valletta Shipyard outside Malta, or uh, any guard station for example. First of all, we need to know how the in-game station naming works. The name consists out of three parts. First is the universe, then for example, um, you have LI for Liberty, BR for Britonia, QU for Kasari, and so on. We need Alpha, which is the HI Solars, and Alpha is also the first system on that list, so let us type in the dot beam spazzy H1 and then add 01 without any spaces. Uh, then we actually need to specify which station are we referring to. In this case, Malta is 0, um, Ibiza is 02 and Valletta is 03, so let us add the rest of the commands then, adding the number and base extension. So beam spazzy h101 underscore 03, referring to the base, underscore base, and here we are. There are also two ways to find out how the uh, how the in-game names work. There is a Iron Cross folder in your freelancer folder, which has a lot of text files in it. The faction text shows the in-game faction names for the setrup command, while the basis uh, text file shows all of the in-game base names for the beam command. The other way is to use Freelancer Companion and its Show Internal Names option. This is useful if you forget what the station name is, but you have a good idea where it is. 
The other commands are and their descriptions can be found in the FL hook readme file. I'm not gonna you know, go into too much detail about that. This concludes the basic server tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for the part two of this video where I'll be show you how to further upgrade your server by adding restart commands and other tips and tricks you might need. Spazzy out.